Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be like a little bit different than usual. There's a car passing, of course. Okay, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than usual because I wanted to tell you guys that I started school for cosmetology. Um, I used to, if you guys know, I used to go to school for cosmetology when I was in high school. Like we had a whole program that was in my high school's basement, but because I wound up leaving school a year and a half earlier, so um, I wasn't able to complete all my hours. So now I'm totally restarting. I didn't like transfer my hours or anything like that. And in the state of New York, you need to have a thousand hours and the school that I'm going to, they offer a thousand and a hundred hours, 1100 hours. That way you can, um, you know, in case you need to like miss any days or whatever, you're not like so far behind or anything like that. Also, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff on my kit, but I don't have nail polish on. I just took it off because my nails were super chipped and, um, yeah, so I just took my nail polish off. Um, I'm wearing my ColourPop lipstick and the, the lip liner and, and matte lipstick that I showed you guys in my unboxing video for the Beautycom BFF box. I don't know if this is too dark on me. Tell me what you guys think on it, about it because I know I'm like really, really pale. Um, it definitely is dark and it's definitely out of my comfort zone, so I'm not sure if I'm just not used to it or if it is definitely too dark, so let me know what you guys think. Sorry, there's like a lot of noise outside. Let me just close my window really quick. Okay, so the school that I'm going to is the Paul Mitchell Cactus Academy, so the one that I go to is in Garden City on Long Island, and I really like it so far. I mean, I'm only about, and I'm going into my fourth week tomorrow. You go to school from Tuesdays to Saturdays because they set it up like you would set up salon hours, and salons are open on Saturdays. They're never really open on Mondays I guess it would really depend or it also depends what you want to do if you even want to work in a salon I'm not exactly sure like which route I want to go down yet um, but I figured I would also incorporate what I'm learning there into YouTube and teach you guys sort of what I'm uh, learning as things go along and whatever so like I said I'm only going into my fourth week so I don't know too much yet I definitely have learned a lot um, but yeah nothing like insane but i did want to do an unboxing kit and show you guys what i have in my cosmetology kit that way you guys can see what you get at the school but i don't have everything here the thing that i'm missing is my kit of uh, scissors it comes with like five different types of scissors but my teacher has them at school because this week is cutting week so i kept everything there um, i have my tripod at school four different mannequins i don't have my makeup yet we get makeup once we get into um i think it's spa week which should be week five so maybe that would be next week i'm not really sure i don't really remember i think with the makeup they also teach you like special effects so that should be interesting I'll be learning about that and then we have a whole bunch of books that I got in like our, our messenger bag but our textbook and we have um, a few apps that are like those are all in our iPads you use an iPad at school rather than like bringing a notebook and stuff back and forth which is really cool um, two of the apps we have the cutting app and the color app which is really awesome like they teach you how to do like all these color formulations for whatever color you want and it has like an interactive color map that way you can figure out exactly what your which color you're trying to get to and where you're starting from and all that kind of stuff so that's really cool it's got a bunch of like video tutorials which I think can be really helpful especially for someone like myself or someone like you guys who um, you know we watch YouTube videos so we kind of learn through videos and things like that so that's fun, but I'm just gonna show you what's in my basic kit for right now. The way you guys can just see what they gave us. So this piece like comes out of the kit. I'll try to like show you guys a video and of course Monkey's already jumping in the box. Um, I'll try to show you guys like an overview of the actual kit, but like it rolls and it's, um, it's not just like it can roll back and forth. Like it's got like the spinning wheels, which is nice. So it's very portable and very comfortable like that. But this top piece comes off. Um, I have my detangling comb. I marked everything with this green sparkly tape. They tell you to mark everything because um, people, t they say that people like take things. My class, there's only four of us in it, so you kind of, and you're all getting the same stuff, so I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. I guess maybe in a class that's much bigger, you would maybe have a problem with that, but you're all getting the same thing, so if you just don't lose anything, you really shouldn't have an issue um, with that stuff. But I labeled everything anyway. So um, here's my detangling comb. I have a little manicure set. We didn't go over any nail stuff yet, but this is what this comes with. Um, this is a razor for cutting hair. So there's that. I have no idea how to use this and this thing absolutely frightens me to look at. Like to think that I would be cutting someone's hair with this just makes me feel like it seems really unhealthy, but whatever, I'll learn it. Um, I have my sculpting brush or scalp brush. This is kind of weird because I only got this a few weeks ago and already the Paul Mitchell logo has like faded away and the back, um, like the names of the brush are on all of the brushes and that's already come off, so that's weird. 
but yeah, this brush is really good. I have two applicator brushes for, you know, dyeing, tinting hair, any of any color application stuff or relaxers and perms and stuff like that. Then we have a whole bunch of combs. This is my um, 308 comb. I don't know why I don't have green tape on this unless it just came off. Um, I've got this white one. They tell you like exactly what everything is for and you actually kind of learn the difference over time. Like I never really realized the difference between like these two things, but like one um, will be like uh, protective against heat so if you're curling someone's hair you can kind of put this on the iron and take the hair off without ruining it and so yeah it's just like a bunch of different stuff like that a regular rat tail comb um, this is a good teasing comb with a pick at the other side we've got these two they give us six of these combs which are just have the smaller teeth at the end or uh, thinner uh, more put together I don't know and the wider teeth on the other side but they gave us six of these this which I believe we're gonna be using for cutting I'm not totally sure and then my metal um, tail comb so there's that and then in this top little portion right here this is magnetic which is kind of cute and it comes with ten um, ten of these clips so you know just to hold the hair up and stuff like that so that's good in this bag, I have three different capes that I would be putting on my guests or, um, yeah, like on whoever's hair I'm doing. Um, you have three different ones. You can feel the texture difference between the three. Um, one is, I'm sorry, is it three or two different ones? Yeah, it's three. So you have your apron, which is nice. That way you can keep like your tools and everything in your pocket if you just need to like quickly grab something. Then you have one for chemicals and, um, and yeah, like any sort of chemical thing that you're going to be doing on someone's hair, whether it's color, relaxers, or perms. That way um, you obviously don't get anything on their necks or their clothes. And then you have your cutting cape. So this, I actually keep this in... Um, my dog is gonna start barking. Oh my gosh, not now, Jay. Yeah, anyway, sorry, my dog started barking like crazy. Um, this, I keep my three capes, or in my apron and my two capes in this. This is actually a mannequin bag. Um, you're supposed to be able to fit like one of your mannequin heads in here. You get four of them when you're at school, but um, they tend to mat up a little bit easy, so I don't carry them in here. I don't even really bring them home unless maybe I want to practice something, but um, if anything, I'll just do like my sister's hair or my own hair. Um, so I actually keep my capes in here, and that's when I that's what I put in the kit because obviously the capes don't have any structure to them, so when you're trying to fit everything into the box like and keep everything organized, it can be a little bit annoying to have your capes just kind of like lying around and flopping over, so I'd rather just keep them all in here and tie it up, and then it just like, you know, it's just a lot more compact and concise that way. So in the bottom of the kit, I have my paddle brush, and this you have to keep towards the top. It's so funny because they were like, oh, keep this towards the top of your kit because these bristles will get ruined easily and I'm like I doubt it like whatever but um I put it at the bottom and like one of them wound up like kind of like going in you have to like place it out again like I don't know they do get ruined easily so you have to be careful the way that you pack everything up again but this stuff is like amazing and I learned the sickest blowouts with this stuff so I'm going to show you guys that in a separate video if you guys want to um see me teach you how to do like a proper blowout on your own hair or on someone else's hair it comes with four different um round brushes these are also great for blowouts as well or like if you want to do any sort of like um you know like curling your hair or giving it a lot of volume they teach you exactly how to do that with all of these um these are really great because they're ceramic so they heat up in the middle yeah you guys i'm sure already know all of this but this is what it comes with it comes with a really awesome blow dryer this blow dryer has got so many different settings on it if you see that this has like a screen on it um they have a bunch of different heat settings and uh, a bunch of different like power settings so it's not just like your typical three that you would get on a regular blow dryer like you know like warm cold and hot and then like medium power and then high power you can really mess with it a lot and then of course it has your cool shots which are great so there's that comes with the diffuser and a concentrator i usually like concentrators that are a little bit thinner but i haven't had a problem with this one so far like i really like the way that my blowouts have been coming out i can make it pin straight even with this even though i typically like a concentrator that's like really really thin but um yeah this one this one works just fine as well here is another sculpting brush then i have a styling brush and again like the the print is coming off the back which is so weird like i just don't understand how that happened so fast um this brush i didn't understand it at first i'm like this looks like so amateur but it's got a lot of um weight to it so when you're using the tension against your head to use to use it for blowouts you can get some pretty good like volume and 
uh, shaping with this brush. I'm actually surprised at how much I like it. It comes with a big mirror so you guys can see yourself right now. <laughs> That's what I'm filming on and now I look at myself and I look really shiny, but it's all good. Um, I have my color gloves in this bag right now. Um, I need to like, f I want to find a different place to put those because I don't like that they're just kind of open and in the bag that it came in. I want like a, some sort of Maybe I can actually use one of my Ipsy bags and put them in there and then just put that in there. That might work. You have your water bottle just to spray on hair when you need to soak it down. Then you've got what they call, they call this a smoothing iron. It's just like a regular flat iron. Um, this also has a bunch of different heat settings, also has a screen for your heat and you can see it heat up. Like this thing literally heats up to like 450 degrees in maybe 10 seconds. It's absolutely insane. So I really like this one a lot. Now, this iron I have a serious love-hate relationship with. If you ever go to school for cosmetology, you will know that um, you have the irons that do not have a spring, so you have to sort of like learn how to use this because this is way different than a regular art, um, curling iron. And especially, if, I feel like for lefties, everything is always more difficult and I'm a lefty. Um, but like you kind of like learn how to use it, but they do say that once you get to um, know how to use this one, it will cut your curling iron time in half so you won't be spending like an hour doing your hair it'll take you like a half hour instead so i'm still adjusting to it it's taking me a little bit of time i also would prefer maybe a thicker barrel because i like looser curls you can obviously always brush your curls out or they'll fall out over time but i think i definitely want to get one that has a thicker barrel just in general um, but you know i'm still adjusting to this one so once i really master this i'll try to teach you guys how to do it but um so far, not a fan of this. I definitely prefer other curling irons over this. And if you hear all that ruffling, Monkey is sitting in my kit right now. Say hi to Monkey. Isn't she so cute? Like she's just like a little love bug. I gotta show you guys a picture. She fell asleep like like this in my arms last night and she was just like knocked out and every time I would try to put her down like she would crawl back into my arms. It was so cute. Yeah, the last thing that this kit comes with is this and it's got like three clips on the back and this is so you can kind of hang it over the edge of your kit which I'm going to pick up and show you in a second. Um, and then you can put like your brushes and everything that you are going to be using right in here that way you don't have to keep like reaching in and out all the time. This is the kit, um, you know, again I have my green tape on top and then it's got like the wheels at the bottom and in the top over here, this thing is kind of heavy, um, in the top over here it's got like elastic um, strings and stuff. You can apparently keep your combs or your clips in there. I don't do that just because it just kind of looks a little bit messy to me so I just don't like to but I guess for some people that works. And it's just a regular rolling case just kind of like a suitcase. So yeah that's what I wanted to show you guys. I may do like a part two to this video to show you guys um, the books and the apps and stuff if you guys want to see that. I will probably post that as I have hair in my mouth. I will probably post that as like an extra video this week that way I'm not like taking up um, space in next week's videos, you know, just so that way you guys get, you know, some variety, but maybe I'll throw that in as like a bonus video this week if you guys want to see that. That's about it. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about my new little venture and see what you guys think about it. Also, again, let me know what you think about this lip color and the hair on my lip because that apparently won't come off. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm going to go put all of this back in my kit and this is going to take me like an hour because you have to, it's kind of like playing Tetris in your box to get everything to fit properly. So I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys didn't watch my last video, click right here. It was my um, October favorite, so, you know, usual stuff. Um, yeah, click right there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I put out new videos every single week, usually on Mondays, sometimes on Tuesdays, sometimes on Wednesdays. Kind of just depends on how the week goes. Um, I try to usually get it up on Mondays, though. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!